So um for because of a few requests, I've uh, decided to um, talk through my process of uh, what I'm doing for my own shoe shines. So uh, you guys will get a better understanding of all the steps and all the products that I used. Let's get shiny. So um, this is a pair of shoes of uh, Alfred Sargent, hand grade. This is very high quality. Um, that I um, apply a patina onto them. Now you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash them with um, saddle soap. If I have it here. Don't hang on. <laughs> this is just water. Shoe trees in the shoes to retain shape. Just gonna spray the shoe first. And then wet up. Same thing. And have you you noticed that I don't use glove? It's just not what I do. Um, if anything. Just use a cloth. Now I'm gonna use Feeling Saddle Soap, you know, Angela's fine, and thing. Saddle Soap is a good product, so don't need to be picky about the brand. I'm gonna use a large um, applicator brush. The reason that I'm washing these is that uh, I'm going to remove the excess, uh, excess uh, leather dye from the patina and also open up the pores of the leather because uh, saddle soap cleans and opens up the pore and raises the pore of uh, the, the grain of the leather grain so uh, yeah, the leather will absorb um, condition and cream much better then wipe clean Second shoe. So I'm sorry about that. It only is a noise from the neighbor. It's coming up. It's funny that uh, every time I do something, he's gonna do something. You know, drilling, chopping wood. Doing cars. Well, but that's fine, right? You hear this in me in my shoes. So, let it try for a little bit. I'm to grab that. Put this away. Clean the weld with another applicator brush. Can you see this? Clean up the weld. And clean the probing with medallion. So 
first step done, now I'm gonna use a uh, shoe cream. This is a uh, Saphir Bordeaux or Burgundy. You know, just finger. I um, tend to focus on the vamp and um, the side of the shoes because that's where the shoe flexes the most and um, they will need the most conditioner and cream but the least amount of wax so um, that's what you see me doing here I'm gonna take and I like to use finger because um, I can feel that the leather is absorbing the cream and uh, you know I can feel that the, the leather is softening up as I apply the cream with my finger and also the finger you know skin to skin contact it helps um, I think it helps uh, the leather absorb the cream much better of course my opinion you know everybody has a different opinion we live in a world that is so opinionated that, you know, it's good to listen and uh, learn. This is how much I get, like, a time. Just a little bit of, just a tiny amount. That's all the leather needs. Uh, apply too much and it won't dry up, in, like, fast enough. You have to wait extra time before you crush. Um, you know, I don't have that much time. I have so many shoes to, sh to shine for my, for my personal wear and client. And also leather, it's just, just another, another type of skin. You know, it takes, it takes in what it needs. Don't find more than what it needs, we have to spend time to buff it off. You know, it's a waste of product, um, unnecessary time and work. So yeah. So while uh, waiting for the cream to dry up, I'm gonna use a uh, sandpaper. This is 80 grit to smooth out the uh, edge of the shoes. And before that's you know before I apply edge conditioner it gives a much much finer edge I started with plain old 80 grit for aggressive um, level surfacing uh, yeah, leveling the surface for the other shoe a sanding block. This is a spongy sanding block that you can find at any hardware store. This is equivalent to about 400 grit, you know, just to smooth it out before applying any edge, you know, dressing.
So now the surface is cleaned. I'm gonna apply edge dressing. This is Angelus black edge dressing. Really good one. I really like the shade that it used and uh, shake it up a little bit. As dressing it's like you know shoe cream less is more I set the one coat, <coughs> so while it's dry, I'm gonna put a uh, light on. It's kind of dark now. So um, since the cream's dry up and um, ash dressing is not applied, I'm gonna use a paint bristle brush. It's is a really, it's a really stick um, bristle brush that I um, really like to remove the excess and then I'm going to use horse hair brush to start developing a soft shine. Use a horse hair. So up to this point, it is called shoe care. But if we want to make the shoes look like perfect, we have to put a nice, good, perfect shine on it. And about that, I like to put the mirror shine on the toe cap, the cap toe toe cap, where there's a um, stiffener under, and a nice uh, semi mirror shine in the heel counter. I'm gonna since I have um, almost like black uh, toe cap in my patina, I'm gonna use um, navy blue polish. It has a really nice uh, dimension onto black. And then uh, I'm gonna add um, 
Saphir mirror gloss just like one or two coats to uh, like shorten the time that I have to shine the shoe. Let's get going. So I like to use my finger to apply a, to saturate, like completely saturate, saturate the um, toe cap and the heel carry. And um, <coughs> And then you can use your finger to feel where the um, toe puff stop. It stop right around here. So I'm going to apply wax from this top toward the top, toward the tip. So um, the wax and the mirror shine wouldn't crack when I walk. So for the cloth, I'm just going to use, you know, an old con t-shirt cut off. It is amazing at creating a, a mirror shine, like you wouldn't believe how much it helps. You know, just use 100% con like soft, old t-shirt. So here's how I wrap the uh, cloth, get it on here, like just past my two finger, pinch. Twist, turn, pull it on here, go inside, pull to the back. So this way I don't have to hold it, you know, it's not gonna come off. Do it again, stop right here, pinch it inside here, boom. Cool. 
This is just water. If you're curious, and um, this thing uh, cost me, I don't know, fifteen, twenty dollars from eBay. It's the uh, IPA conical alcohol dispenser. I'm just gonna get it wet and it'll start shining. Keep switching shoes so the wax will dry and the other shoe will receive them. It's waxed. Just how I do it. a little bit of black mirror floss. Hmm. I reckon you can. <sighs> Maybe go grab the other can.
just the light. There we go.
I'm going to go back to the uh, softer, not the look wax, to kind of melt the uh, surface and you know, smooth it out to create a nice mirror. Mirror. Since I have built a nice foundation of wax for the mirror shine, I'm going to switch to a completely clean new part of the cloth to use just water to buff out the uh, solvent and pull the shine out of the wax. So um, let's do it.
so um, I switched in a cloth <coughs> <coughs> because the, the other one is too wet. Since I'm, um, now since I'm done with the uh, shining, no, the mirror shining, I'm going to use a soft, really soft uh, gold hair brush to like develop a nice uh, glow uh, on the leather. Final shine again, pure clean, clean cloth. Um, no, nothing else other than water, pure water. <coughs> 